You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today we are going to be going over each and every one of the new free all-star cards that did come out in NBA 2K22 my team so in the agenda section there's going to be a section with these evos you got to evo each one work your way up guys for the Larry Bird Blake Griffin and Dominic Wilkins just kind of how it is going to work and before we dive in to each and every one of these evos if you are new to my channel and have not yet make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 90,000 subscribers to rick Barry first six seven uh six eleven wingspan hot spots from both corners card looks pretty rough i mean Gem shot 18. The card looks pretty rough. Evo him. The three ball goes up. Lateral quickness. The card still does not become good. Like, it's just an Evo to get done. Obviously, while you're working your way up. But he's not very good. Nate Robinson could be a fun card to indeed use. I mean, three ball of a speed. Lateral quickness go up. He is just going to get bullied on the interior. But with the 98 driving dunk again, could be a fun card to get and to use. Daquan Cook up next. 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan. It's looking like the badges don't really get improved unless, I mean, we have yet to get there. But so far, the badges don't, haven't gone up. Draw foul, steal, as well as free throw goes up. Again, pretty rough so far with what we're seeing. Trey Burke, again, no badges. You're looking at vertical, three ball, lateral quickness, driving, lay passing, accuracy, and steal. I mean, these Evos are rough. Even if their badges do improve, none of these, none of these rubies are cards I would consider running. Okay, Bogey gets a badge. He gets circus threes. 92, 3 ball, 91, speed acceleration, 89, ladder quickness. This card doesn't look terrible. Jump shot, 6 on quick. I don't know what that's like, but with base dribble style, he's the only real usable, I feel like, Ruby card out of all these. Bogey, I feel like you can use him. A hey, Disney, man, prayers up. Hopefully, I mean, he will be... I just wish he could stay healthy, man. I feel really bad for the card. Uh, for the guy, 83 ball, you guys can see defensively. Still going to struggle. A hey, Disney is not good. Even if he does get the Evo. Terrence Ross. Remember when we got a Terrence Ross Evo card a couple of years ago? This card uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Not very good once again in my team. Could, I mean, potentially be good down the road with quick dribble style, but they did not juice Terrence Ross at all. Dale Ellis up next. Can we get a good Dale Ellis? Maybe speed goes up. Lateral quickness at a 76. These cards are awful. My goodness. What did they do to these cards? The Marksman, Lori Marketing up next. Lori is not horrible. This is the first card that even without the Evo, I'm like, okay. This card's not horrible. The Evo definitely helps out with rebounding. Set shot 18, definitely. Holds the card back, but with fundamental dribble style, I mean, he's not terrible at all. Lori marketed at 7 feet tall. For what we've got working with, he's not terrible. Wally Zerbiak up next, 6'7", six, 6'10", six, wingspan. He's not bad either. 94 through ball, 86 speed, 92 lateral quickness. Can handle the ball, 77 interior Jump shot 16. It's an okay release slash triple style. Wallet World is not terrible. The diamonds and above better be soup because so far this has been really rough. Chauncey makes it even more rough. I mean, yes, defending on the perimeter is really good, but that's all they give you. Interior block rating is terrible. Release wise, we know Chauncey Phillips' release is terrible. Chauncey is not very good in my team either. Desmond Mason, can we get somebody that can do something? Okay, Desmond got a three ball, 94 speed acceleration, 89 ladder quickness, interior is a little bit down. Doesn't look that bad. Jump shot 49 on quick base dribble style. This card, I guess, doesn't look too bad, but still not great in my team. Craig Hodges up next. 97 three ball, 92 speed, 90 ladder quickness, interior is super low. Jump shot 36 fundamental dribble style yikes i mean this is just a yikes so far hold on patrick beverly pat Bev. yo we got a new pat bev card i see you he gets he gets five extra badges okay 89 three blood plus 10 draw foul that's it does get stop and go break started floor general quick chain hyper drive makes him a little bit better here's the deal another guy that's does have quick dribble style makes him a lot better tendency wise is incredible he's probably gonna get some fake stops He'll be a fun guard to use, but, I mean, objectively, he's not going to be one of the best point guards in the game. It's just that simple. And I'm not trying to just hate on all these guards. They're just not very good. Elton Brand, next here, gets one badge. That badge, corner specialist, 85. Three bomb, set shot, 13. I don't even know what release that is. It's probably pretty bad. Marcus gave you release. 
Defensively, not horrible. I mean, if you can play him at power forward, I mean, he's a power forward, small forward, so he's not horrible. Big dribble style is the only problem with the card. But again, he's not terrible. All these Evos, obviously, you can't apply badges. Oh, and Brand, I guess, is not terrible. I have high hopes for these being diamonds. Otherwise, I just don't even know what to say. 6.97 full wingspan, 94 through ball, 85. Speed acceleration, 83. Lateral quickness. I know DBG is probably going to hype up Bob Pettit. I will never. This card is dirt. I don't care about his set shot. I don't care about the fundamental dribble style. This card with 35 badges is dirt. Larry Nance, look, can you save the day, please? We need it badly. 84 3 ball with the Evo, 98 driving deck, 86 ball, 92 pass perception, decent rebounder. Jump shot, 21. She's the Korean base, fundamental dribble style. I mean, again, the card defensively is really good. This is our first card that I'm going to hype up a little bit because this card is really good. Larry Nance is good. The problem is you can't give many shooting badges. Like, his three ball is decent, but you can't give many shooting badges. I still think with fundamental dribble style at 6'10 at the three, he's going to play and feel probably like Thurl Bailey. That's probably the best comparison I can give him. I'm still upset he doesn't get better. But Larry Nance is good in my team. Just throwing that out there. Paul Pierce. I'm not even going to spend time talking about this card. This card is dirt. Paul Pierce stinks in my team. It's that simple. Larry Nance is good. Bam out of Bayou. I don't know if these cards are Evo to Opal or not. I doubt it. 6, 9, 7, 2 wingspan. I mean, guys. I know he can play power forward. But, I mean, guys. Card is going to struggle. Defensive badges are solid. But, again, even compared to Larry Nance. Larry is way better than Bam. And I know I'm going through these cards quickly because they stink. Okay, Jamal Murray gets 57 base badges, 6'4", 6'7", wingspan, 94, 3 ball, 90 driving deck, 94 is ball, 91 ball, 94 speed, 92 ladder quickness. Strength interior definitely hurt the card, but here's the, here's the deal, guys. Offensively speaking, he's not terrible. Jump shot 80, quick dribble style, 6'4". Offensively, he's going to be solid. Just throwing that out there. Defensively, obviously, is a big liability, but offensively, very complete in my team. So last but not least, all these cards outside of Larry Nance stink. So last but not least, the reward section. Dominic Wilkins. You can't apply badges to him. Awesome. 6'7". 6'10". We expand out spots forever outside the top of key. 89. 3 ball. 98. Driving deck. 91. 2 ball. 86. Ball. 95. Speed acceleration. 94. Ladder quickness. 75. Interior is not great. Jump shot. 8 on normal. Timing. Fundamental. Dribble style. He's okay. You know, he is okay. I, I can't sit here and say he's any better than okay, but he is okay. You get that jump shot eight down, he's going to be really solid. Larry Legend up next, 6, 9, 7, 4, wingspan, 52 base badges. Okay, Galaxy Opal, let's see Larry Bird based on normal timing, base dribble style, 98, 3 ball, 80 driving duck, 84, 2 ball, 86, bono, 85, speed acceleration, ladder quickness, interior is a little bit better, I guess, badge wise, he's okay. My question is this. Is he even better than the pink diamond Larry? And he barely is. Like, I know these extra defensive badges are nice. This card is barely better than the Pink Diamond. I'm not trying to sit here and hate on these cards, but these are terrible in my team right now. Blake Griffin, please save the day. 6'10", 6'11", wingspan, 57 base badges. Let's start with here. Blake Griffin on normal time, but that doesn't kill him. So if his stats are good, okay. Just give him Monty because I already see the speed in 85. So with Monty, 94, 3 ball, 98 driving dunk, speed with ball, not great. This, no. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. This is one of the worst free drops we have seen in a very long time. The dude is basically the pink diamond Blake Griffin. He is literally the pink diamond Blake outside of just better badge wise. I mean, my goodness, 2K. As far as this free content, these Evo drops, we got one card that is far superior than the rest, and that's Larry Nance. This card is juiced. Everybody else in this drop is just not good at all. It's just that simple. Obviously, these guys up here are good, but they're not free. I guess Blake Griffin's okay, but all three of these cards are rough. That's all I'm going to say. Look, if you were excited about the free content today, it's still fun because you get to give all these cards, but these cards are kind of dirt in my team. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't want you guys to get too high on these cards and then just end up getting let down. These cards are not very good outside of Larry Nance. It's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on each and every one of these cards down below in the comments. Are you guys still excited to grind these out? Are you guys like, man, it's not even worth it? I mean, look, if you really are nobody spent, you get some solid cards, but just don't think it's worth it in my team. It's going to wrap it up, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.